Hey guys and welcome to another video from EarnPad.com. I am Stevie B. We are here at Camp Icarus. Me and Bear are going to go into the gauntlet. Let's do stage one. We're going to do stage one and then stage two. I want to give you guys a little bit of a run through. So the gauntlet is one of the very first things that you should do because whenever you do it, this is the only way to get the Vivo S10 healing device. Um, you'll see right here, the Vivo S10. It's still my go-to healing device. It's one of the best healing devices in the game. At least early on anyway. I've used it for the past 18 months and I am planning to keep using it pretty much indefinitely. So I'm going to let Bear do some shooting. So one of the reasons, guys, that you want to do Gauntlet early on is two reasons. Number one, you want the Vivo S10, but number two, you also get a hundred thousand ammo, a hundred thousand universal ammo whenever you do this, the very first time. So here's kind of how it works, guys. The first time you do it, you get a hundred thousand ammo. Not sure where he's going. Um, the very first time you do it, you get a hundred thousand ammo. And then the very first time you do stage two, I believe, uh, you get the Vivo S10. Now you only get those rewards the first time you do this, but definitely well worth it. So the thing is, you can do the gauntlet every day. It's a daily mission. And even after you get the Vivo S10 the first time, and even after you get the ammo the first time, uh, you can do it daily and you'll get a daily uh, token up until you hit stage 10. Now once you hit stage 10, you'll no longer get the daily tokens, but you can still come do it. I tend to do it with people I'm mentoring. Um, outside of people I mentor, I don't usually come do the gauntlet, but I will do it with people that I'm actively mentoring. So it is a good way to get those daily tokens, especially up till stage 10. When you're a new player, yeah, you're gonna need the ammo. Yeah, you're gonna need that FAP. But the more important thing is those daily tokens. So daily tokens can be redeemed once you have a certain amount for special weapons. They can be redeemed for special mining gear, all kinds of other good stuff. There's a daily token trader at Twin Peaks, another at Cape Corneth. Uh, I know there's a couple spread out a few other places as well. So there's several different places you can redeem them. It's a great way to early on get daily tokens that you can turn into guns and mining gear on the super cheap. Um, and honestly guys, it's probably one of the easiest ways to do it. Whenever you get to the higher levels of the game, uh, you'll be able to do the other daily missions. But early on, Gauntlet is going to be probably one, if not the only ways to reliably get those daily tokens on a regular basis on the cheap. There are even now some stage two and stage three missions that I cannot do simply because it requires, you know, mobs that are way beyond my experience level even now uh, in order to complete sometimes. So sometimes I get a daily challenge and I want to do it, but it's just beyond my skill level, so I know it's better to hold off. Um, whenever you get to the proxy mines, obviously stand back. So if you guys notice in stage one of Gauntlet, essentially you run through, you kill a whole lot of robots. You have to get to these two generator type things that are in the corners. In the middle is a room with the boss in it, but you've got to come destroy these first. So I'll take out this warrior and then I'll take out the second power generator and then we'll go nail the boss. So Bear is one of the people that is doing mentorship with me. I don't take a lot of disciples, but I do take some if you're in the U.S., especially if you're in the Central Standard Time Zone, and if you can follow instruction, then I don't necessarily mind pe taking people on as disciples. Um, I prefer to take people who deposit and who are actively wanting to play, simply for the fact of my personal experience is a lot of people start discipleship, they get a couple of weeks into it, and then they just kind of trail off and quit playing altogether. I have disciples that have been stuck at 1% completion for over a year. I've got other people that just got halfway through and said, screw it. I had one guy that for the longest time 
that's all of stage one, by the way. That is literally all of stage one. Um, I've got people that for the longest time, they'll just sign out and they'll just quit playing and they're stuck at like 99% and it really makes it hard for me because I don't want to kick them but then again at the same time if you're just going to take up my time in my space it doesn't really make a lot of sense right let's make sure bear got his reward what kind of reward did you get so guys notice I am actually wearing uh, let me change let me change my view real quick. Notice I am actually wearing vigilante armor. Let's see if I can get a good shot here. There we go. So vigilante armor is one of the best armors for drones, robots, ranged attacks in the game. It was definitely not necessary, but I went ahead and wore it anyway. Um, he did get the Vivo S10, good. So this is the Vivo S10. This is one of your first unlimited items you'll get in game. And you get it when you complete stage one. So you get that ammo when you complete stage two. Um, it's unlimited, meaning it can be repaired. I'm going to go ahead and take my armor off and we're going to run through stage two real quick. Guys, be sure and pay attention when I do stage two. There's a very certain way I do it. And there's a reason for that. So stage two is a little bit more difficult. In stage two, the mobs are a little bit higher level. They do have a little bit harder attacks. Um, they do make it more difficult. It's not something that's super new player friendly. Stage one, most new players can get through pretty easy. Stage two, not necessarily as much because you don't necessarily have the defense skills you need coming in here. Uh, that causes a problem. There's also some really nasty mobs in here that do a whole lot of damage. So I kind of try and go around them. So in stage two, it's similar to stage one. You've essentially got to get to where it says deploy toxin. And it's just a checkpoint. You don't really have to do anything. These guys are going to be in our way, so I'll go ahead and take them out. You don't have to do anything but reach the checkpoint, but you've got to get to the checkpoint, and then you've got to, after you get to the checkpoint, you've got to go deal with the main boss. Why is it? I don't know. That's weird. Okay. Um, so after you get to the two checkpoints and you got to go do the main boss, there's these little spider things called uh, Neomax, I believe. Neomex, Neromex, something like that. Anyway, they're a smaller version of a bigger mob that we have here on Calypso. Uh, notice I got to where it said deploy toxin. So for new players, the Neomex that are in the stage two gauntlet instance are a little bit harder to deal with. They do pack a little bit more of a punch. So I kind of try and go around them a little bit. just because it saves people a little bit on the fapping, the health, stuff like that. You can actually get around more of the mobs than I'm going to, but I'm just trying to get through this pretty quickly. Okay, so notice right here, this is where I really want to try and stay over here. Um, let's see, this way, this way, this way. Be sure bear's still behind us. So notice I'm kind of trying to sort of go around them a little bit. Okay, there he goes. I'm, I'm trying to kind of finagle my way around having to deal with them if I can. There's one right there. 
level 8 uh, Marsimex actually I'm sorry Neomex I believe is what it's called it's the smaller version you can find them in a cave here on Calypso Marsimex are the bigger of the two and that is actually a level 8 which is a very very tiny one uh, they're actually a pretty big mob here on Cali and not something a lot of new people really try and mess with but this is kinda like the little intro gauntlet version in fact if you've seen my other videos the vault hunter video that I did is kind of like uh, the vault hunter is how you get into the cave Calypso depths I made a several part series at several hours long and Marsimex are typically found inside of Calypso depths that's like their home right so notice there's three toxins get to the third one real quick crotch shot no way gotta love my signature blue underwear okay so now big bad time for the big bad um, so the big bad is the one kind of at the end of this whole thing. I'm going to go ahead and take this one out for him. That way he doesn't have to mess with it. There we go. So notice I'm kind of trying to snake my way through here. Whoa. Okay. That was not here last time. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, they redid uh, the Kalamazoids, or however you pronounce that. Was that it? Was it? Surely not. Maybe that's her. She used to be gold. weird um, I think that they redid it she used to be huge and gold I think that was her okay let's uh, let's hit the portal yeah she, that was her guys uh, the weird one that popped up at the end she used to be literally as tall as the building and gold like she was literally as tall as the cave she used to be as tall as the cave and gold colored. So that is Gauntlet Stage 2. I'm assuming, uh, based off what just happened, that they have changed it. She is no longer 10 feet tall in gold. Now she just looks different. She's more of a reddish color, probably level 9, uh, with more of the, the Scyther fangs if you ever watch Pokemon. So that is Gauntlet Stage 1 and 2. Oh yes, you also get the Robot Beacon. Okay, I was able to verify that was her. So, guys, that's the gauntlet. Do it the first time to get your ammo, your uh, Vivo S10 Unlimited Healing Fap, and also to get your robot beacon. That's another story for a different day. It opens a different instance for a robot ship. You want to do it with a team of people, especially when you get to the bigger beacons later on. That's a whole different story. Uh, long story short, in the bigger beacons, you need many people because one person has to loot each floor different story altogether but that's the gauntlet go through it definitely get that vivo s10 get that ammo get your daily tokens keep doing it as often as you can all the way up until level 10 for the daily tokens and by then you should pretty much have entropia mastered uh, or you should be on your way to being an entropia master get it haha <laughs> um, so from everybody here at urnped.com that's been gauntlet stage one and stage two with the new graphics I've been Stevie B. I hope it was an easy walkthrough. Remember to kind of maneuver around those Marsimex if you can. If you guys need anything, feel, re feel free to reach out to me in-game. Remember, it is currently during Mayhem, so I will be competing. If I don't PM you back right away, I will get to you, I promise. Thank you guys for tuning in, and I will see you guys soon.